morning, Mr. President. How are you? Nice, thank you. How are Good you? morning, Mr. President. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome to Armenia. Thank you very much. Very nice having you here, gentlemen. Indeed. Okay. Welcome to Armenia again. It's so nice seeing you <laughs> in Yerevan. I hope you will have useful but also enjoyable stay here. And as we were talking back in Paris, and I agree with you that the aim of your visit is to discover Armenia and mm -hmm. first discover the educational part of it because there's nothing that we can do in high-tech technology if we don't have the right educational system. So welcome to Armenia. Uh, I hope in this, with this short visit you'll discover it. And I hope that you'll come back not alone but with your wives as well and family. 21st century new technology. Because I personally believe, not because I am Armenian, that the, we have talented people around and we have uh, inherited a good educational system from Soviet Union, a tradition of natural sciences here. Mm -hmm. which we are a small state but a global nation that is a that is a great contribution because the Armenians are everywhere. Some people say there are more Armenians living in Russia than in Armenia and they are everywhere starting from politics up to businesses and academia. They are in France, they are in, in America, they are in Argentina, worldwide. As you said it, uh, a small country but a, a global country and, uh, and people is a key to the future. So, uh, as, uh, as we were discussing before, I think, uh, you know, people should not be, uh, be shy about the future. Uh, the future is an opportunity, uh, it's not a threat. And, and technology, by the way, is, uh, could be a great tool. Uh, it has to be used in the proper way. And, uh, and by the way, uh, using technology means people. So, first, everything starts with people, and this is why we are so... Uh, keen to discover, in fact, the uh, education system of Armenia and to see how we can contribute to uh, the education of the new uh, generation, which will contribute to a better future at the end of the day. So, um, and, and what is interesting in, what, in the period where we are living right now is that it doesn't take uh, massive uh, capital investment. Uh, if you invest properly in the brain power of the people, uh, if you enable them to unleash their creativity, uh, you will have innovation at the end of the day. hope we will uh, discover when we will be visiting uh, the different places we have uh, in the very nice program your office has prepared for us, uh, is to get the feeling of uh, what are the, the key domains where things can happen. Uh, to get a feeling which is key, probably not in, in Armenia, but in other countries, it has always been key that there is a willingness to learn. Definitely there is. The willingness to learn is, is a differentiation <coughs> amongst uh, countries in, in the in global competition. Uh, I think those countries where this willingness is disappearing have a, will have big problems. If you have that willingness strong in that country, which again I suspect and which we will observe, uh, you have a third, a third uh, strong advantage.
President Sarkisian uh, made us the honor to uh, visit the SO system on the uh, occasion of his uh, previous, uh, well, not last, but before last visit to, to France. So we met him twice already, uh, once in the SO system and uh, once uh, at his hotel in Paris. And uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, it would be of value uh, both for, uh, for us and for, uh, for Armenia that uh, we uh, investigate how we can work uh, together for the future. Uh, future, uh, meaning uh, what, uh, what can we do together to prepare the young generation for the, the challenges of the, the digital uh, age and how the SO system can uh, contribute to the education system uh, with our technology, so opening the minds of the people to the digital creation, the digital innovation, innovation in the digital world to prepare a better future. We discussed precisely that, which is uh, how to prepare the future, how to prepare the young generation to the challenges of tomorrow, and how can we uh, help Armenia, even though it is a small country, but with a big and great uh, people, on, uh, on the roadmap of uh, tomorrow. And, um, and, you know, we are talking here about um, open minds and collaboration, uh, working together towards uh, creating products and services and usage that will better match the need of the people while preserving the environment. This is why the digital world is so important because in the digital world you can imagine, you can invent, you can create, you can simulate without yet impacting the physical world and then making sure that when you are going to make it, what you are going to get uh, is uh, respect respectful of the environment, is going to meet with frugality the needs uh, of the, and the service that you are going to deliver uh, to the people and to the communities. And you have to understand that the future is about collaboration in an open world between people that will work together to create. It's very interesting to see the new uh, emerging uh, companies and ideas, how they work, it's about first collaboration between people. It's not about a big conglomerate with big industrial infrastructure. It's about ideas and how you bring ideas to life. And this, this digital world is so important because it enables you precisely to collaborate, to see what you mean, and to bring it to a fusion, to reality, bringing people together in ecosystem of collaboration and creation. Well, what we're expecting is precisely to discover the uh, education system, the ecosystem of uh, creation. By the way, the new, also the new companies uh, that have emerged, like uh, Tumo in education. Uh, so, and this is, uh, we see a completely different uh, world uh, emerging. Uh, it's not necessarily in the big countries, it could be anywhere on the planet, provided people, as we were discussing before, have the, have the will to learn and to create and to innovate together.